SQL, Structured Query Language, also known as SQL. Before the age of computers, people stored data in form of paper in a filing cabinet. Data like contracts or any type of writings. But everything changed. These days, everything is stored in what is called database. In order to access the data from databases, we need a special language. That's what SQL is for. With SQL, you can add data to your databases, change it and so on. But how SQL actually works? Think of database as a warehouse, data tables as a filing cabinet and data like files and this database stores data. This database, or as we mentioned, warehouse, was built with languages like C++, Java, PHP and some others. Now imagine that someone, let's say Dave, is going to collect a file for his boss who owns this warehouse, but does not know programming languages like C++ or Java. That's when SQL comes in. Imagine it's someone in the store, let's say Diana, who knows how to speak to databases and translate it to SQL language. Lucky to Dave, because he actually knows SQL, so he can actually talk to the store person and ask for files. SQL supports some major commands like select, which returns a result, set of records, update, update files, delete, delete files, insert, insert new files. Important to know that SQL uses RDBMS management system that stores data in a row-based table structure. It is simple as Diana, who we mentioned above, checks the database and creates system of files for her in order to be organized and really fast in case a new customer will come and ask for a file. That is very basic overview of what is SQL. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.